Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing. Today we are going to talk about the color chooser in Java. So we create a color chooser using the J color chooser class in Java. And this class allows to create a color chooser. Uh, that means that we will allow a user to choose a color, the, our program. Okay, so I have two classes, the main class in which I'm uh, I'm creating the frame object, and then we also have the my frame class extending the JFrame class that will allow us to create our frame object. In the constructor, I have my various uh, frame attributes. Okay, so I have the layout set to flow layout. I have this park method that would make sure that the frame would adjust according to the GUI components contained in it, and then. I need to declare my various GUI components that I would add to my frame. I am going to declare them globally because I'll also use the action listener in this video. I will say J button, BTN. So this is for the button. And I'm also going to need a label. So I'll say J label, labels, except the color. I will need to import the label. Let me import the button as well. So now let's instantiate our various uh, GUI components. So I will start with the label. I will instantiate that. We'll say new J label. And uh, I will say this text can change color. I will set the font of my label. So label that set font, new font, console us. I need to add the font uh, font style, so bold, and then the size, I'll say 18. Let me import the font class. What else can I add here? First, let me add to the frame. So I'll say this that add label. When I run, so you can see the text showing. This text can change color. Uh, I can say now that I want to set the background color of the label. I'll say label that set background. I'll say color that white. I will import the color class and then say label set fake. That will be true. Now when we run, okay, now you can see that the text is having the background color white. So that's it. Okay, so after you have done that, we can now instantiate our button. So btn equal new j button and the text I will say choose your color and then I will add this button to the frame. So I will simply say this that add btn like that. Let me run. So as you can see, choose your color. So as I told you, what we want to do here is that when the user clicks on the button, we want something to happen, maybe to change the color of the text. So in order to do that, we need the action listener. As usual, I will come up here and add implement action listener. I need to import the action listener and then add on implemented methods. So because we want to make the button be the listener of the action event, we will add the action listener here. So we'll say button that add action listener and then we will pass in this okay which is making reference to the class implementing the action listener interface so now the rest of the code we need to write it in the action performed method we will say if so the source of the event so let me add the action event object here i'll call it evt so if evt get source so that means if the source of the event is equal to btn because btn is the GUI component on which we have added the action listener. Now we need to instantiate an instance of a color chooser. So we say J color chooser, and I'll call this color underscore chooser, and I'll instantiate that new J color chooser. Semicolon, import the color chooser class. And now once we have instantiated the color chooser, we need to create a dialog box that would show the various colors. So to instantiate or uh, to create a dialog box to show the colors, you we are going to use the color class. We will say color and we call this my underscore color is equal to j color chooser dot show dialog. So the argument one, we will say null. The argument two is going to set the text of this dialog. So we will say choose your color and then the, the argument two will be the color so color that white so color that what will be the default color 
So now let me run. When you click on the button, choose color, you can see the dialog box will show and then you have the various colors showing. You can click on swatches, HSV, you know, RGB as well. So, and as you can see, the default color is white. You can change that. What if we say here that the default color is blue? Now, when you run, now you see the default color is blue here. You come to RGB, it's blue as the default color. So the next thing we want to do is that we want to make sure that, okay, when you select a particular color, we want you to apply that color to your label, okay? Let's say, for example, uh, let me take that back to white and let me run. I will explain to you. So when we click on choose your color and then it's white by default, okay? If I select blue, for example, and then click on okay, I want this text to change color. So that's what I, I want to do. How should I do that? So in order to do that, we will simply add a line of code and we will say label because that's the Gooby component that we want to change the color. Set foreground, you know, the set foreground is the method used to change the color of your label and we will add my underscore color. Okay, let's see this. Now let's run here and let's click OK. Now then when, you, when you click on OK, it's not that it has disappeared, but it's simply because the label will take the color white because that's the default color of our color chooser. So let's say that we want to choose a different color. So we click on choose your color and then we choose red here. Okay. And then you click on okay. Now you see that your text has changed its color. It's now red. All right. So you can play around that. You can even change the background color of the button. You say button set background my underscore color so my underscore color would determine so when you click select a color on your color chooser and then click ok this would update the value of the color stored in the my color so that's basically what is happening and now click on change your color choose your color for example and when you click on green for example and then ok now you see the background color of the button has changed and then the text label color has also changed you can change the background color of the label. So label uh, set background, my underscore color. Let's run, choose your color. You say maybe purple like this, run. Now you see the background color of your label has changed. All right, so this is actually how you can use the color chooser and you know play around it, changing uh, your label color by clicking or selecting on a specific color from the color chooser and all of that. So. That was it on J Color Chooser. I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.